Have you ever wondered the best way to change out wax from your wax warmers? Stay tuned and I will share with you my six top methods for changing out wax fragrance melts from your warmers. Hello everyone, it's Patricia and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to cover six different methods of wax removal from wax warmers. So being a wax addict, as you know, I love my Scentsy and I'm a consultant, but I also like to warm retail wax, vendor wax, I love it all. And over time I have learned a few tricks and techniques that make wax change easier. Now the main thing to remember are there are two different kind of categories. There's six methods we're going to cover, but there's two main categories. So we're going to talk three ways to change wax from cold and three ways to change wax from warm. So let's break off and we will show each method and I will let you know what methods work great for me and maybe what one's my favorite. Okay, so for the first method I have, I use this a lot for vendor wax. Vendor wax can vary in consistency and I find this method works well for softer waxes. So this warmer dish was recently placed in the freezer and I just removed it. It was in the freezer for about 30 minutes and what happens is depending on how thick the wax is at the bottom in the shape of the dish, uh, you just leave it in long enough and what happens is the disc just comes out in one solid piece because it contracts. This is a really nice method and the only downside would be that I usually let this dish come back up to room temperature before I put it on the warmer. So let's move on to method number two. Okay, so here we have the second method of wax removal and this is probably my least favorite. What we have is, I should clarify, when I said category cold and hot, this means cold means we're changing it when it's hard as a rock and it's fully set. Okay, so all uh, the freezer method, it was hardened before I put it in the freezer and this is hardened. So this method uses either like an end of a spatula or something like a sharp end of a clamshell to poke in the edge of the wax and pop it out. Now, I do not suggest using a butter knife or a knife, a metal knife of any kind because you can scratch your dish. Sometimes in a pinch I would use a plastic knife but I try not to do that. So I'll try with this method. Now I do find this sometimes works okay for harder style waxes, but sometimes like soy vendor wax, things like that, it's a nightmare, so I don't recommend it. Oh, and the lighting is terrible, but we're just gonna have to go with it. So you just basically put it in the edge and pop it out like that. It's a little messy sometimes, but that's basically it. The other thing you could do is use, if it was back in there, you would use the edge of your thing and help pop it out. I've heard people do that. I've tried it, it does work. But yes, that is the spatula or something kind of poked underneath the edge and pry it up. Like I said, that is my least used method. Okay, so the third method of wax removal is basically we are starting from cold and we are going to heat up the wax by turning on the warmer. Now, I've just turned this on maybe like one minute, but the wax is hard. We just wanna heat it up just a slight tiny bit so that the very bottom part melts and we can scoop it out. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back and check it in a minute or two and we will see. Now this one is very time sensitive. If you get distracted, your wax will be too liquid and you cannot do this method. So although I do like this method, I often get in trouble because I intend to come back and I get distracted. So I'll pause the video, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've taken the dish out and I'm just going to show you that you basically just take the wax out. So it's barely melted on the bottom. Sometimes you will have a bit of melted wax down here and you just wipe that out, but you're good to go. You're ready to change to your next scent. Okay, so the next three methods are all going from warm wax to removal that way. So kind of starting off liquid and then removing it. Now you'll look at this and you'll notice this is not liquid. <laughs> what happened was I had to move this mini warmer. So what I, what I did was starting from liquid, I turned the warmer off. This method is called the cool and scoop method. So you start with liquid wax, 
you turn your warmer off and then you wait. Now, very similar to the last method where we started off with a hard wax and then let it warm up a little bit, we're doing the opposite. And this is my absolute favorite method of wax removal. So we let the wax cool for roughly 20 to 30 minutes. It depends on how much wax is in there. It depends on the warmer, the temperature of the room, all that kind of thing. But basically what you want to do is be able to put your finger in and like leave an indent. And I think you can probably see there's a bit of an indent there. This one might be a tiny bit soft, so I'll just talk for a brief second here while we um, wait for that to harden up a little bit more. So with the other method where you only have about a five minute window at the most, this one you have a bit of a range. So this one works a little bit better for me because having a family and three kids, sometimes I get interrupted. This is great for night lights because you can't move a night light when it's in liquid form, you will spill the wax. This is great for Scentsy Wax. And this is great for probably uh, parasoy, paraffin soy blends that have wax that have a lot of paraffin because you kind of need the stiffness to do this. So what I'm going to do is just try to take this out in one piece. And you can see it's very pliable like Play-Doh. And the warmer dish is pretty much perfect. If you have any residue, you just wipe and you go. So this uh, cooling and scooping method is my absolute favorite. Okay, so here is the fifth method. And what you can't see in here is the wax is liquid inside this dish. This is called the hot dump method. This is actually my favorite method. I use this the, the most, I think, because it's quick and easy. Now, what you do is you basically just take the hot wax and you dump it in the garbage. I've put the garbage up here just so you can see. Let it drip out and then quickly you can wipe the residue off. Usually I do it above the garbage can and I just keep wiping to get it clean. And you are good to go. So this method works best for warmers that don't get too hot that you can touch easily and not risk burning yourself. So you can see we're ready for new wax. And like I said, this is probably one of the methods I use the most. Okay, so here we are with method number six, which is the last method. Again, you can see in the warmer here, the wax is liquid and hot. And this is the cotton ball method. So I've got two cotton balls, and I usually also have some either toilet paper or Kleenex. Now you can get big cotton balls, or these are just standard small co cotton balls. So I want to change this wax, so I just put the cotton balls in the hot wax and I wait for a little bit. And you can see the wax is going up the cotton. So you just take it out. I usually put it down on some of uh, the toilet paper. And then with the spare toilet paper, I just wipe the dish and you're good to go. Now, this one I obviously like to use because night lights um, are inconvenienced by the fact that they're plugged in. So if you try to unplug them while the wax is liquid, you're going to have a waxident. I also like to use this method for Walmart wax, such as Sensationals or Better Homes and Gardens, because it's, it is very messy to clean that one up. So it's a little bit easier with this method. And the other thing is you can actually, in a pinch, use a dryer lint if it's fairly clean. Um, people have done that. This is probably my, one of my least used methods just because I find you need the cotton balls and sometimes I run out. So that's it. Let's just go to the summary. And there you have it. Six different ways to remove wax from your warmers. These are the most popular ways I use in my home. Please comment below. What is your favorite method to remove wax from your wax warmers? And that might help someone else in this video. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like and share, and I'd love for you to subscribe. As always, I'd like to wish you a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.